Okay, let's do a walk around of this thing. First bit I'm going to show you is the screen here. This is the back of it. These little ribs actually form the toroidal shape of the screen. If you look around the front here, you can see it's kind of a, a faceted shape. We used paper because it was quick and it did the job. It's badly wrinkled, and that shows up in the video that we did on Saturday, but it gets the job done really well. It's hung up by, as you can see, a 2x4 between a couple of stands. Real simple. Um, it's also extremely close to the main mirror, as you can see here. It's not very far away at all. And back here we've got the structure for the enclosure. Those are the ears. This is the main box. This here is what I used to adjust the vacuum, or at least what Wayne was using to adjust the vacuum on Saturday. It's a real, real simple uh, bleed air gate, essentially. You twist it, the holes get bigger. Um, and then of course the, the shop vac. This is the computer that runs the whole thing. And apparently it looks like I forgot to turn it off last uh, Saturday. And up here is the projector. There we are. It's a real cheap, in focus, 800 by 600 projector. Uh, it's just to get the job done. I didn't have a regular projector that would work. The uh, DIY units I made can't be used for this. Um, this border ring that you see here, this is where the mylar is glued to. We actually use a spray adhesive. And you can tell right here where we changed adhesive. Um, the stuff I had I ran out of and we had to go uh, to the local auto parts store and get some uh, spray on headliner adhesive. Uh, it did the job. But you can tell this adheres a lot better than the, uh, uh, the other stuff over here. And then, of course, the Corsica seat, etc. This is the old car sim setup. Um, I'll go ahead and turn the vacuum on and we can see what this thing looks like pulled down. And look at that. It's a perfect mirror. It's absolutely fantastic. It forms a spherical section uh, in order to produce the collimated effect. You can see here that little screen takes up the whole space. The screen's only about 17 inches high. The screen, of course, is much larger, but because of the, the spherical shape, it has a uh, magnification effect to it. I'll go ahead and turn this thing off real quick. And there we go. Back off here and see if I can't get it the, the whole thing. So you guys can see it. And uh, I'm hoping this is going to be the start of a really, really cool quality video system. Uh, only time will tell. And if we're really, really lucky, we'll be able to tell you guys how we did it. And at least in enough detail for you to build your own. Maybe. We're not sure yet. Thanks, all.